All right, we are back, and we have to go find the potato that is GLaDOS. Is there anything I can... Aha. A beeping of some sort. You know. Um... Is this the correct location? I sure hope so. Hello, Miss Potato, Mrs. Potato Head. Do not enter. Do not enter. Do not enter. Keep out. Mm. Well, can't hit anything from there. I don't think, anyways. I don't know if that's where I came from. Or if this is this. I'm so confused on where I'm supposed to be going. Solving skills quickly. Pretty sure this is the direction. Alright. This reminds me of, um, like, Star Wars, um, Force Unleashed, the first one. I don't know why, but there was, like, a little level to where you could, like, go in and you're in a cave and everything. It just reminds me of this. Thanks. Thank you for letting me pull the lever. Okay. Excuse me, can I get through please? Isn't it like just like a tiny fucking door? Yeah. I can't attach anything though. That's kind of dumb. Ah, oh, nice, another loading screen. At least we don't have to see um, Aperture Labs. Excuse me. You will die if you touch that. It's a uh, Flint River, right? Flint, Michigan. That one's the one that has like the terrible, terrible fucking water. I think. Um, here we go. Okay, I guess there's nothing in here. My bad.
It's kind of spooky in here. I don't like it. Alright, yeah, I had to come all this way. Unless I have to, like, go up there or something. Nope. Can't get up there. Can I get... Nope. This has got to be it. Some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> yeah, I... J.K. Simmons has a very, very, very nice voice for, like, projecting stuff. I guess you could say. I don't know what you would specifically call that. Boop. Uh, I'm actually going to put you right there because that's where you need to go. Ooh. Um. I think. Maybe. Oh, yes. Um, okay. So, the orange one. Gotcha. Is this going to be enough of a distance? Oh, yeah. This is enough. To just barely fucking make it. Huh. <sighs> though, wherever she is. I think it forces you to pick her up anyways, so... Well... Okay, where am I going? Unless I need to go this way, but I don't think I do. Nope. 
Oh, um. <clears throat> ah, I'm gonna walk this way. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. <laughs> That's probably not safe. But, um. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Like the video if you want. Don't have to, but it is much appreciated. Come on, let me out. Thank you. Oh God, my brain. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Uh, okay. We're gonna uh, pop you right there. Okay. Hmm. Boing. Alright, I need you. Thanks. The lab boys just informed Shit. me that I should not have mentioned the control group. <laughs> telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I'm yeah. a builder, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Don't let those fucking nerds tell you what to do. Alright, cool. Um there was there was a podcast episode of um Joe Rogan experience. And he basically just starts talking shit to this one dude because he's like, I'm not gonna let a nerd tell me what the fuck to For do. This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are gonna travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Mm -hmm. Now maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Hmm. Neat. Uh, I need. I need that. Put you right there. And then we'll do a little bounce. Yeah. Yes. Science. Uh, okay. I did that one. That was good enough for me. <laughs> oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Gotcha. Gotcha. Whoops. Uh, I think I could listen to J.K. Simmons all day, every day. Just such a commanding voice. He could tell Only me to do anything and I do it. Asbestos, by the way, keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. Punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Alright. Uh, okay, so the exit's way up there. How does one exit? Okay. I guess I needed it in the testing area. Oh, shit. Oops. Oops. 
Um, there's that. Um, damn. Hmm. I think we should be good now. It should be enough. Yep. Yep. And then... Hmm. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to shoot the orange one. Enough. That coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. Okay, that makes sense. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Mm. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm okay. Serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Okay. Gotcha. I will try and stay stress-free. If you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of here pretty fast. There we go. We're going to drop you right there. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, keep <laughs> yourself on the testing track. Don't make eye contact. Let oh, voice know we have a wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go out of business. <clears throat> Smack into the wall. You're good to go. So, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.